There's gonna be a lot of bleeps in this. Wikipedia kid, I gotta tell you a story about some fucking shit I have. You don't want to pickle the burns. Dude. Let me tell you a fucking story, dude. How about this shit? I was fucking sitting outside and I was like, I can suck my asshole. <coughs> Oh, it burns real good. Hey there. Welcome to Paranormal Spirits, where we share a drink, I tell you a spooky story, and then we rip it apart because booze always shows the truth. Hey there. <laughs> Grab yourself a drink, sit back, relax, and let us tell you a little story. And as always, we will be playing Emily's Drinking Game. Emily's Drinking Game. <laughs> Where anytime we screw up a word or phrase, we take a drink. It's horrible. Which is all the time. Drink responsibly. Caitlin. Yes, ma'am. I've got a Massachusetts story for us today. Oh, wicked piss a kid. I'm ready. So for anyone who doesn't know, I live in Massachusetts. Caitlin is from Massachusetts. She no yeah. longer lives here because she... Sucks assholes. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. That's it. I'm ready to hear this freaking scary story. I want to get spooked, dude. Have you ever heard of the Dover Demon? The Dover Demon, kid? <laughs> the Dover Demon. Tell me all about it, guy. Well, this happened over a two-day span in April of 1977. Oh, we're going way back here, bro. Hmm. Way back. <laughs> We're going right back to the very near past. Okay, so the main character in our story is one William Bartlett, who is now an artist living in Needham, okay. Massachusetts, yes. And he was the first one to report seeing the Dover Demon. So when William Bartlett was 17 years old, okay. in April, on the 21st in 1977, he was driving home, mm -hmm. and I think it was around 10 p.m. at night, and he saw a little figure on a stone wall. Anyone who hasn't been here, we have a lot of those old stone walls along the roads. Mm -hmm. Now, two hours later, mm -hmm. there was a John Baxter, who was 15, walking home from his girlfriend's house, and he got within 15 feet of this creature. The next night, Abby Brabham. Abby she was, what? Abby what? Yo, Abby. <laughs> Abby, Abby Brabham, Brabham kid. kid. Good old Abby was 15 years old. Her boyfriend was driving her home, and... They saw this little creature sitting upright alongside the road. Over the course of these two days, three different people reported seeing this little weird little creature. Right. Now, William Baxter, good old Billy Baxter, was the man, <laughs> one who made a, um, a drawing of it. Now, in this drawing, the creature, it looked like a humanoid creature with really large eyes and it crawled with tendril-like fingers across the wall. It crawled with his fingers? It's what it says. It crawled with tendril-like fingers. No report. No report. <laughs> so no sightings have been reported since then. However, old Billy Baxter says he may have had another experience a year later. And I kind of love this even more than the first sightings. So a year later, Billy was parked in a car with his girlfriend. They were definitely studying. Each other's genitals. <laughs> when they heard a loud thump on the car. Thump. Was it Billy? Billy, is that you? Billy. <laughs> I told you, I only want to go to second base. So then he says he saw a small figure leave the scene. So it jumped on his car? It doesn't say, it just heard a thump. And then I saw a small figure run away. He remains unsure of who or what it was that banged on the car. So he thinks, maybe I was revisited by this weird little creature right. thing. That's fucking it, kid. <laughs> My name's Billy Back, so let me tell you about the time I saw this little freaking guy, dude. So I'm driving <laughs> along, 17 years old. All of a sudden, on a stone wall, bam, little dude, tentacle fingers, walking around. Then... <laughs> Before you know it, a year later, trying to get the old hoo-ha in my girlfriend kit. Like, give me the old, how's your mother? Hello, how are you? And then, foop, on the car. Nobody knows. Runs away. That's it. So this is the story of the Dover Demon. It's just some weird little creature that three people claim they saw 
in 1977. And nobody else has seen the Dover Demon nobody. since? The Dover has had some weird things reported. Like right. one dude says, so this was in a 1914 town history called Dover Farms. Mm-hmm. Frank Smith writes of Farm Street. In early times, this road went around by the picturesque Polka Rock on the farm of George Patel, which was called for a man by that name, of whom it remembered. Of whom it is remembered. (laughs) That amid the superstitions of the age, he thought he saw his satanic majesty as he was riding on horseback. 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 Yeah. By this secluded spot. So they thought they saw his satanic majesty. I thought that was interesting how they described him. As a satanic majesty? Right, as satanic majesty. I want that to be my new name. Her satanic majesty? Yo, kid. Yo. Yo, dude. <laughs> I'm here. The Dover Demon must, like, maybe he work for what? his satanic majesty. He didn't want to work at Dunkin' Donuts, dude. Wanted to work. On the cobblestone wall? Do we think that maybe, just maybe, there was some bad acid that went around in the 70s? And it is in the 70s, kids, right? Yeah. And those three kids got it and saw some shit. In fact, that was what was called the Dover Demon. Yo, kid, yo, Billy, come out to the woods, kid. We're going to drop the Dover Demon, bro. We figured it out. Mind blown. We freaking solved the mystery of the Dolman. Dolman? <laughs> That's the story of the Dover Demon. I know it has changed your life for the better. Dover fucking demon. Dover demon. All right, <laughs> dude. I'm going to bring this to a close. Fucking Boston style. If you like what you saw, dude, give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Ring the freaking bell, guy. Come on. Ring the bell. If you don't like what you saw, tell your mother I said what's up. She knows what I'm talking about. For all you New York Yankees fans, suck it, kid. Have a nice day. See you next time. Get out of here.